What do you think? Oh, Bob, this drive through for my milkshake bar is going to be wonderful. And it will all be ready to open at tea time, Chef. Great! I've invited the Spring City Rockets to be my first customers. See you later, all. Bye, Bye Chef Daddy. Daddy. Bob, can I tell them now? OK, team, before we start, Leo has something to say. What is it? Today, I'm going to film you all building the drive through Oh, a film! I've always wanted to be in a film! Uh, why? Why are you filming us? It's for a college project. I have to film a build from start to finish. OK, Bob, let's start. Huh? Smile, give me lots of energy and action! Oh, right. Um, can we build it? Yes, we can! Don't just dig and scoop. I drill through tough ground and break up hard rocks. I like to think I'm the star of Bob's team. Oh, scoop! That was brilliant! You're a natural on camera. Thanks so much. Wow, I'm a natural on camera. Ooh! Hey there, I'm a scoop. A natural on camera with loads of talent and amazing sports car good looks. Wait, if I'm this good on camera, then I should be the star of Leo's film. Hmm. <laughs> Once the green paint dries, we can start on the next part of the build. Don't worry, Leo, I'm here. Huh? Hi there, folks. So, what goes with a new drive through and a milkshake bar? That's right! A new milkshake menu! Scoop! Scoop! Thanks for the cheers, guys, but I'm still on camera. I don't think they were cheering, Scoop. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh oh, no! I messed up! And it's all on camera! Scoop! We better clean up the paint before it dries. Oh, how can I be a star if Leo stopped filming? Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. The drive through window is all ready now. I just need you to install the inside intercom, please. No problem. But how about a break first? Chef Tatty said we could help ourselves to a milkshake. Brilliant. I've always wanted to create my own milkshake. Now, what should I put in? Two bananas, a sprinkling of raisins, loads of peanut butter, a oh. squeeze of lemon... Uh. And a spoon of wobbly jelly. Really? All those ingredients? Together? Just you wait, Wendy. This milkshake is going to be smooth and delicious. Hmm. Mm. Wait! I forgot the ice cream and milk. Now it looks smooth and delicious. Smooth? Yes. Oh, but not that delicious. Um... Paint dry. Check. Arrows done. Check. So, the next thing to film is... the building of the curb that will separate the car park from the drive through Hey, Leo! You should film me breaking up the ground to make the new curb! It'll be great! Thanks, Scoop, but I haven't filmed Muck yet. Aww. You want to film me? Are you sure? Just tell the camera how you clear away dirt. Oh. I, um... Um... I... Uh... Don't worry, Muck, I've got this. As you can see, breaking up the ground makes a lot of mess. So we have to clean up after ourselves. Scoop! You're gonna hit the... Oops! Oh. 
intercom unit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh don't, don't worry. It's just a little bump. It'll be fine. Oh! I'm clearing... Um, dirt. And I'm pouring cement. Then we'll put large stones on top of it to make the new curb. Oh, but I'm the one with the talent and good looks. There. The intercom is ready. Great. And now it's time for a milkshake. You're not going to make another one. Don't worry, Wendy. This time, I'm going to make a simple strawberry milkshake. What could go wrong? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the lid on. Hmm. Oh, it's almost time for the opening. How am I ever going to be the star of Leo's film? Hi, Scoop. The Spring City Rockets are ready to be the first drive through customers. So, where do we go? This way, Betsy. I'll show you. <gasps> That's it! Hey, Leo! Betsy and the Rockets are here. Why don't I lead them through the drive through for your film? Oh, that's a great idea. This is going to be the grand finale. So let's make it the best bit. OK. Get ready, everyone. The drive through is opening. And action! Welcome to the new milkshake bar drive through First up, the menu! Wow! This looks brilliant! What can we order? Cool! Uh-oh! Scoop, you're blocking the way. Everything OK? Of course! Uh, everything's fine, because, because Chef Tatty will now ask for your order. Whoa! Oh! Watch out! Oh! 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 Oh, oh no. no! Sorry, everyone. Oh, are you all OK? We're oh, fine. Okay. Stand back! <gasps> Betsy, Scoop, reverse out of the lane quickly but calmly. There. Now it's safe. I can't show my teachers this. My film's ruined. I'm sorry, Leo. I should have given the intercom a proper check when I bumped into it earlier. But I wanted to be the star of your film. So, I didn't. Scoop, we all make mistakes. And sometimes a part of our building work is fixing those mistakes. Hey, I know. Leo, you should film the team fixing the drive through Then your film will show every single thing that can happen on a build! Oh, brilliant! Come on, everyone. Let's get fixing! Bob, I'll take you back to the yard to get a new front for the menu board. But, Scoop, don't you want to be a star on camera? Fixing the drive through is more important. So come on, let's go! for my project. Oh, except a team photo. Right. Come on, guys. Move in and smile. I really don't like cameras. Oh, I do! Scoop! Scoop. I can't help it. The camera loves me. Hi, 
I've been meaning to get these spare tires tidied up for ages. Well, Curtis, once we build this tire shed, you'll be able to keep them all out of your way. Fantastic! Uh. Uh. Whoa! Look out, Bob! I've got it! <gasps> Phew! Thanks, Bob. That one nearly got away. Morning, all. Where are we going today, Bob? Next door to Curtis's garage. Curtis! We like Curtis. We're going to build Curtis a tyre shed to keep all his spare tyres safely out of the way. Instead of lying around where some people keep tripping over them. People like you, Leo. Um... Yeah. Tutor? We've already got the materials for today's job. Ah, but these are your general supplies, Bob. Wood, cement, gravel and bricks. No. Oh. This delivery was supposed to arrive tomorrow. It arrived earlier than expected, Wendy. I can't take it back and this is just the first load. Don't worry. We'll deal with it, Tuton. Wendy, Scoop, Dizzy and I will go to the garage and begin building Curtis's tyre shed, while Leo, Lofty and Mook can put away the delivery. Can we store it? Yes, we can! of lovely, fresh, crunchy gravel for me to shovel. <laughs> oh, Pilchard! Look out! Mac, Ooh. we're supposed to be putting things away, not making masses of mess. Sorry, but Pilchard got in my way, Lofty. We have to be extra careful around her. Here's the second load of supplies, Leo. OK, Tutan. I remember delivering supplies in the Sahara Desert once. It was so hot, it almost melted my... Pilchard! Whoa! A pilchard? Careful! Leo! Pilchard stuck on the roof! Hey, Pilchy, Pilchy, Pilchard. I'll catch you. Come on. Cats are good at jumping. Oh! Ugh! Oh. Uh, meant to do that. I don't think I can carry on if Pilcher keeps getting in the way. What if she gets hurt? I'll shut her in Bob's kitchen, Muck. She'll be safe there. <coughs> Where shall huh? I put the empties, Leo? Uh, maybe somewhere out the back, Lofty. We can sort them later. Right out. <laughs> Pilchard! Shoo! Muck? I thought you put Pilchard away safe, Leo. I was just shutting the door. There. She's safe. There. Ah, oh, good. That's all the walls finished. We'll need Lofty to lift the roof. Oh, Scoop, can you go and fetch Lofty and tell him we need him here, please? No problem, Bob. Finished. Pilcher can come out now, Leo. OK. What's going on? We had to shut Pilcher inside to keep her safe and out of the way. Oh, no, she's not there. She got out again. <gasps> oh, no. I told her to shoo, and now she's run away. <gasps> oh, oh, no! no. We'd better find her. Let's go. Pelchard! Kitty! Pelchard! 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 Kitty! Kitty! Pelchard! Where are you? Perhaps she's stuck behind all the new bricks and timber and stuff. <gasps> then we need to get her out. What's taking Lofty so long? Uh, I'd better check. Oh, Pilcher's not here. And it's all because of my shoeing. You must have really scared her. Oh, we can't tell Bob that I've made Pilcher run away. He'll be really worried about her. Lofty! <gasps> ah! 
didn't Scoop say I needed you to lift the roof onto the new tyre shed? Oops! Sorry, Bob. Forgot to tell him. Uh, why is it taking so long to put the supplies away? Um, oh. um. Well... Oh, never mind. Let's get both these jobs finished today, guys. We can do it! Come on, Lofty. You're with me. OK. If we find Pilcher quickly, Bob will never need to know she was missing. We need to look everywhere. Let's go! Where are you? Pilchard! 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 What are you <gasps> doing, Mark? Huh? Shh! I frightened Pilchard out of the yard. But I mustn't worry, Bob. I need to find her. Ooh! I'll help you. No! No sign of... No sign of what, Dizzy? Oh, uh, No sign of us finishing any time soon. Hmm. Hmm. Pilchard! She's in the car wash! She might shrink and be the size of a hamster. No, she's not there. <gasps> Perhaps she's gone back to the yard. Strange. How did that start up? Pilchard! Pilchard! Ah! I guess the supplies are all put away now. Leo? Oh. Shouldn't you be supervising back at the yard? Um, yes, Wendy. But uh, I need Lofty to look into some more heavy lifting. Really? How heavy? Uh, you need to come and look, Lofty. Oh, I'll look, Leo. Very important, that. They're all acting very strangely today, Bob. Hmm. Pelchard! Pelchard! Please come back! We miss you! Oh! Oh, no! <gasps> the yard's in a worse mess than ever. What's really going on? Well, um. Mark? Oh, Pilchard was getting in the way, so I told her to shoo. And now she's run off. And I'm sorry, Bob. We didn't tell you because we didn't want you to worry. I don't think Pilchard would run away, Muck. Cats do wander off, but they like to come home eventually. <laughs> Especially at mealtimes. Maybe if we put out some sardines, she might come back for them now. Good idea. Pilchard can usually smell the sardines as soon as the tin's open. <gasps> I can hear her. But where is she? She was asleep in your dumper, Muck. You were keeping her safe all along. I never knew my dumper was so cosy. Now, let's get these jobs finished. She's gone again! Bob, that's brilliant! We're all done. What do you think? Fantastic! I do love a place for everything and everything in its place. Me too, Curtis. Bob! Huh? He'll just disappeared again. <coughs> huh? Oh. Ha! <laughs> she's found a new place to stay safe when she's outside.
<laughs> now she's got her own wheels, she won't get under yours. <laughs> Hmm. Bob, that was wonderful. Hello, Roly. I love hearing you play your saxophone. I'm not that good. Well, I think you're terrific. Well, thank you, Roly. This afternoon, the Spring City Band are playing a special summer concert. Everyone's going to be there, and the band said I could join in. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see you playing in front of all those people. But first, we have work to do. Morning, all. So what's the job, Bob? We're all ready to roll. Well, before this afternoon's concert, we need to repair the bandstand. It's looking a bit scruffy and run down. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we can. can! Sorry I'm late. <sighs> what do you want me to do today, Bob? Hi, Leo. I'd like you to stay here and tidy up the storage sheds, please. We've been so busy working lately, that the yard's looking a bit of a mess. OK, shouldn't take too long. Right then, team, let's go! Wait, 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 wait! What? What? Ouch! Look out! What is it, Roly? You forgot your saxophone! Thank you, Roly. Good morning, everyone. Oh, the bandstand looks magnificent, Bob. Good job. No problem. While the paint's drying, I think we ought to rehearse down here on the grass. Fabulous. OK, get ready and... Huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, that's where my other sock got to. And... Oh, I could listen to the lovely music all day. Good, everyone. Well done. Well done. Bravo, bravo! I think it's time for you lot to return to the yard and help Leo with the tidying up. OK, Bob. Let's go. Bye. See you later, Bob. Bye. Um, Rowley... Can't I stay a bit longer? Well, there's but not... I like hearing you practice. Yes, but luncheon is served. Tuna, spinach and banana sandwiches. Fantastic. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Get stuck in. Coming. See you later. What are you doing in there? Leo! Oh, uh, hi, guys. What are you doing? You can make some really crazy sounds with this stuff. <laughs> Listen. Wow! How exciting! It's great, Leo! Hey, we can make our own band! Scoop and the Machines! That's a silly name. And anyway, we're supposed to be tidying up. And we will, Lofty, we will. After we've made some music! Well, as my wee old granny used to say, a band can't play on an empty stomach. Oh, that was absolutely delicious.
Leo? What? Hello? Is that you, Bob? Can you hear me? What's all that noise? Pardon? Sorry, Bob. It's a bit noisy. Keep it down, guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> this is so much fun! Leo? Are you all right? What on earth's going on? Leo? Hmm. What's up, Bob? <sighs> I wish I knew. Sorry, everyone. I need to pop back to the yard. Won't be long. Uh oh. <gasps> oh no. No. I flanned all the instruments and ruined the concert. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All those lovely instruments and Bob's saxophone. He's going to be so cross with me. Everyone's going to be cross with me. <laughs> 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 Huh? Sorry, Bob. We were just um making music. Looks like fun. Huh? Right. <laughs> right, time for one more rehearsal. Ah! My clarinet! My trumpet! My goodness! We can't play these! <gasps> The concert, all oh, the people, Mayor Madison. Oh. Who could have done such a thing? I think I saw Rowley lurking about earlier. Mr. Bentley, Rowley's done what? Rowley crushed my tuba. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. The What's going on, Bob? Hours, Bob? Yes, I know the concert's, the concert's in a few hours. Few Don't hours. panic. I'll think of something. Oh. There's been a little accident at the bandstand. It seems Rowley has run over all the instruments and flattened them. Oh, that's oh. terrible. So where's Rowley now? And what's going to happen about the concert? I'll never, ever be able to look Bob in the face again. Uh, Rowley. Huh? Bob? We were worried about you. Worried? I thought you'd all be angry. I just wanted to run away and hide. Oh, I was so looking forward to the concert. And now I've spoiled everything. I'm sure it was an accident, Rolly. It could have happened to anyone. Oh, if only we had some new instruments. Rolly, that's brilliant. Is it? What? We have everything we need to make new instruments for the band. We do? Where? Back at the yard. Yes, of course we do. OK, team. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know is that Bob said the concert is still going ahead. I do hope he can think of something. Oh no, here comes Mayor Madison. Looking forward to the concert, Mr. Bentley. <laughs> but how can we have a concert when we don't have any instruments? Huh? What's going on, Bob? Did you buy us some new instruments? No, Henry. We made you some new instruments. And I'm so sorry about the old ones. Very unusual. So 
something a bit different. <laughs> this is so brilliant! This needs more maracas! Shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, left and shake it, right, shake it up and down, shake it tight. Great work, team. Let's get all those rocks out and then we can fill the moat with water. And then this castle will look amazing for the big wedding this evening. Oh, here comes the bride and groom. Oh, Tilly! Henry! Oh, you must be so excited. Absolutely. In a few short hours. We'll be married. Oh, and you're all invited to the wedding too, of course. Yes. Yes. Uh, what's a wedding? It's a celebration for two people who have decided to spend the rest of their lives together. Henry and Tilly are going to be husband and wife. We're hoping you could add a few more decorations to the castle. Just to make it look extra spectacular? Of course we can. How hard can it be? A few roses, some fairy lights. What do you have in mind? Well... Uh-oh. We thought two lovely flower bits shaped like hearts over here. A beautiful big gazebo out here. And a magnificent tent for the wedding banquet in here. Well, what do you think? Can you have it ready by this evening? Sounds simple enough. Anything else we can do to help? Yes, as our good friends. We'd love you and Wendy to play some music at the ceremony. <laughs> well, I suppose we could. Great. We'll be back this afternoon for the wedding rehearsal. Cheerio! Right. We'd better get that moat finished. Tilly! Henry! Hang, hang on! Hang on! Wait! I'd love to help at your wedding like Bob and Wendy. Can I have a job too? Oh, thank you, Scoop. Well, we've already got Chef Tatty to make our cake. And Mayor Madison to conduct the ceremony. And Sylvain to be my best man. Best man? What's he do? He's an important guest who helps make the wedding run smoothly. Cool! Then I could be your best machine. Nice idea, Scoop. You've got the job. Yes! I'm going to be the best machine ever. Better than anyone else. Trust me. Out of the way, best machine coming through. Best what? Best machine. It's my wedding job. Ugh. Whoa! <gasps> Careful, Scoop. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. <sighs> Come on, Dean. Let's pick up the pace. Okay. While the moat fills up, we should start on the decorations. Hmm, we'll need someone to pick up tent materials from the yard. Sounds like a job for Muck. Sounds like a job Ooh. for Best Machine. Hey. Sounds like this could be disastrous. Tent support poles. Ropes. Check. Ground sheet. Whoops. Right, that's everything. This best machine job is easy peasy. Could you go and pick all those up, please? Ah, oh, yes, Bob. I could use a hand digging up the flower beds. Oh, I'll help, Wendy. No, I'll help. <gasps> Be careful. Best 
best machine at your service. Oh. Steady on, Scoop. I know what I'm doing, Wendy. I'm the best machine. Huh? Oi. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Leo. Hiya, Bob. We're back. Is now a good time? For our wedding rehearsal? Um, sure. Great. We just need to practice saying our vows with Mayor Madison. To make sure the ceremony will go perfectly. Hello, Cooper. Are you coming to the wedding too? He's going to be our ring bearer. He'll walk down the aisle with our wedding rings. What a clever dog. Oh, would you like to look after him while we rehearse? Oh, yes, please. Uh, uh. Scoop. Best machine reporting for doggy duty. <laughs> we are here today to oh, celebrate the marriage of Tilly and... Hola, konnichiwa, guten tag. Hello! Pilchard, how did you get here? Oi, get away, you scallywag! I'll help you, Chef Tutty! Oh. <gasps> Cooper, no! Get off, Pilchard! Oh, leave me alone! Almost lost my case! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <gasps> Ooh, my masterpiece! <laughs> my head! It's okay, everyone! I've got everything under control! Got you! And got you, Cooper! The best machine saves the day! Da -da! Sorry to burst your bubble, but... Huh? Oh, no! <gasps> <gasps> I've wrecked everything! I'm so sorry. I just wanted to be the best machine by being the best at everything. But I've turned out to be the worst. Oh, no! We won't be ready in time for the wedding! We'll have to call it off. There's no need to panic, darling. There's still plenty of time to fix everything. Isn't there, Bob? There is? There is. There's a wedding tonight, team. So let's get cracking. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. In fact... It looks even better. I just need to fish the lanterns out of the moat. Hmm. You know what would make this wedding look really cool? you husband and wife. Love the lantern scoop. It's official. 
You're the best, best machine ever. Oh, thanks, guys. Happy wedding day. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Yeah. You're not crying, are you, Bob? Me? Of course not. Something in my eye, that's all. Of course. Not so fast, Scoop. We don't want to spoil this lovely countryside. Oh, of course not, Bob. So, what are we building? <laughs> huh? Oh! Wow! Good morning, everyone. Hi, Henry. I was just giving Flame here a warm-up for today's competition. The cross-country course will be ready, won't it? It certainly will. Cross-country course? What's that? Cross country is a race through the countryside on horseback, Muck. You have to go over lots of jumps in the quickest time possible. Ooh. So today, team, we're building the last three jumps of the course in time for the competition. Ah, uh, there's nothing more thrilling than flying through the air as you leap over tall fences and deep ditches. Ooh, that sounds like so much fun. It is. I can't wait. Gee up, flame. Oh, I wish I could jump like flame. I don't think so. Jumping isn't our sort of thing, Muck. Oh. OK, guys, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. I bet Flame will be really excited to jump that, Bob. Testing, testing. <laughs> uh, uh, Woohoo! Oh, I've got you. Thanks, Bob. Maybe I could test it instead. No, Mug, I don't think that's a good idea. You're too big to jump over the horseshoe. But I'm sure I can jump, Bob. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> So, how's the jumping going? Huh. See? I did it! Uh, I think you moved a tiny bit, Muck. Maybe I blinked and missed it. Oh. Right. I can finish here, Leo. Do you think you can start on the log jump? Yes. Sure thing, Bob. Come on, guys. Here we are. <laughs> Woohoo! <gasps> oh, I can do that. Here it goes. Yeah! See? I jumped over that ditch. Ah, uh, not really, Muck. You just rolled straight over it. Oh, are you sure? Uh-huh. No jumping there. Oh, Flame can jump. Leo can jump. I want to jump something too. That's it. Look, jumping! Ready? Steady? Go! Mark! Oh, oh! What went wrong? I don't understand. It's simple, Muck. Jumps aren't built for diggers, and diggers aren't built to jump. But I want to jump over fences and ditches. There must be a way, if I try hard enough. But, Muck, honestly, it's impossible. Oh. I'm going to build a special jump. A jump for muck. A muck jump. Oh, hello, Gull. Ooh. That's the perfect spot to build my jump. Scoop and everyone will be so surprised. <laughs> Uh, 
There, all done. Now to tidy up. Muck? Oh, where's he gone? Muck? Muck! Ooh! Muck! Coming, Bob! I'm here, Bob. Ah, Muck. Would you take away this pile of earth for me, please? Oh, yes. Right away. Brilliant. I can use this to build up my muck jump. You need to hurry, <gasps> Muck. We've still got a lot of work to do to finish the course on time. Oh, uh, uh, yes, Bob. I'll just get rid of this. I'm back. And look what Bob gave me. Just a little bit higher and the ramp will be ready. Oh, I can't wait to jump. Good job, Leo. That looks amazing. Thanks, Lofty. I guess we should tidy up. Hmm. Where's Muck? Muck! Here I am, Leo. Oh, could you take away the earth and all those unused logs, please? Sure, Leo. So, have you learned to jump yet, Muck? Nearly, Scoop. Very nearly. <laughs> now to add a finishing touch. <laughs> it's ready, go. Now, before I show the others, I need to take a practice jump. It's always good to practice. Three, two, one, go! Oh, too high. <gasps> oh! Ouch. Help. Help. We'll need Muck if we're to finish building the course in time. But where is he? I told him to hurry. He took some stuff away from me just now. Muck! 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 Oh, it's not like Muck to just disappear. We need to find him quickly. Let's split up. Right yes, Muck! Muck, where are you? <laughs> Muck! Scoop! Can you get me out of here? Oh, no! Bob! Leo! Lofty! I found Muck! Don't worry, Muck. Bob's coming. <laughs> Muck, are you all right? I can't move. We'll get you out. This is a job for you, Lofty. You'll have to lift Muck free. This way. Okay, Lofty. Ready? Lift! Hip! You! You! My rivets are popping! I can't take much more, Bob! Look, it's really heavy! Oh, you can do it, Lofty! Come on! Thank you. I'd almost forgotten what the sky looks like. Muck, what were you doing? I'm sorry, Bob, but I was sure if I built a muck jump, I could leap through the air like Flame does. Well, I'm glad you're not hurt, Muck, but now there's no time to build the final jump for Henry's course, unless we come up with a new plan. Hmm... Do you think Flame could jump my muck jump? Hmm... Maybe, with a few changes. Yes. Excellent idea, Muck. Let's do it. Yeah! yeah!
That's the most thrilling jump Flame and I have ever cleared. We have Muck to thank for that. Yes, Muck. You'll never be a jumper. But that's OK, because now you're an expert jump builder. <gasps> but I've just had a thought. Maybe I could actually jump if I learned to ride a horse. <laughs> We are team Spring City Zoo. Hmm. What animal lives in a place like this? Oh, look. Here's a ball. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Bella lives here, Scoop. She's the zoo's elephant. Where is she, then? Hmm. Are elephants good at hiding? No. That's one thing they are not very good at. <laughs> Scoop. That's just Bella's way of saying hello. Oh. Hi, Bella. Hiya. Oh, hello. Hello, Bella. Hey, listen, everyone. I can make a noise just like Bella. <gasps> <laughs> You're like Bella in other ways too, Muck. You can both carry heavy things on your back. <laughs> And you've both got powerful lifters at the front. Watch. Come on, Bella. Hup. <laughs> oh. Well, Bella, you're really strong. Just like me. <laughs> and from what I've seen, you both like to play ball. These are, are the... Hey, <laughs> stop it! Posts <laughs> for the <laughs> get-off. <laughs> New fence, Jenny. What's wrong with this one? We want Bella to have a fence made from tree trunks to remind her of the wild. Oh. Hey, hey, whoa there, Bella. That's not for you. Come on, Bella. Let's go for a walk around the zoo so that Bob and his team can get on with your new fence. See you later. Bye, Jenny. See you later. Scoop, can you leave the toolboxes over here, please? And, Muck, could you put the posts in a neat pile over there while Wendy and I start measuring out the new fence? Sure oh, thing, Bob. <laughs> Scoop, you look really funny when Bella made her noise. Well, it was very loud and it made me jump. You mean like this? <laughs> are where the holes for the posts will go. We'll build the new fence first, and then take the old glass one down. Sounds like a plan. We've piled up the posts, Bob. Thanks, you two. Oh, we better get going. Tilly the vet's coming later to inspect Bella's enclosure and make sure it's just right for her. So, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. It's you, Gull. You've just given me a great idea for a joke to play a muck. <laughs> Would you? Muck coming through. <gasps> <gasps> you look just as funny as I did. See you later. Oh. There you go. Thanks, Bob. Oh, go and dump it. Thanks, Muck. <laughs> Maybe I can give Scoop another surprise for making me jump. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that fence looks great. I'm sure Bella will feel a lot more at home now. Thanks, Wendy. We'd better get Bella back in her enclosure so I can feed her. OK. Let's all have a break for lunch, then. <laughs> Shh! 
I'm playing a joke on Scoop. He'll be coming past any moment. <gasps> Where's Muck? He's dumping some soil. OK, then if everyone's out, let's close things up and leave Bella to have her lunch. Off you go, Bella. Your food is ready for you in your house. Come on, Bob, let's go and eat our sandwiches. I'm really hungry. Ooh, what's that? It must be Scoop. Three, two, one. <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious. Thanks, Wendy. Oh, good. I can't wait to try them. <gasps> oh, <laughs> sorry. Hmm. <laughs> the bears can't wait to try them either. Huh? That's Bella. Sounds like something's wrong. Come on! <gasps> Bella, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh no! Please stay there. I, I, oh. Ah! Ouch! <gasps> What's Mark doing in there? I've really upset Bella. What do I do, Bob? Don't worry, Muck. We'll get you out. Mark, go inside Bella's house while we figure out what to do. OK. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, dear. Oh, gull. If I were a real elephant, maybe I would know how to make Bella feel better. I see you like Bella's ball, too. <gasps> hey, I've just had a great idea. Shh, Bella, it's OK. Shh, girl. I haven't seen her like this before. She'll calm down eventually. I'm a bit worried about Muck, though. Can I go in? I think it's best I do, Bob. Bella knows me. Oh. There's Muck. What's he doing? Stay inside, Mark! Go back in the elephant house! I'm coming into the enclosure. I, I think I can calm Bella down. No! She's too upset! I've got an idea. <gasps> I really hope this works. <laughs> to her like an elephant. <gasps> Bella's calming down. <laughs> oh, they're playing ball! Well done, Muck. Great idea. I think it's safe for me to go in now. OK, Muck, I've got Bella now. You two seem to have really hit it off. She's lovely. Are you OK, Muck? I'm fine now, but I should never have hidden inside Bella's house. I was just trying to surprise Scoop. I didn't mean to upset her. Well, she seems pretty happy now. But I've really made a mess of things. Look. Yes. I'm not sure we'll get all these posts cleared up and the fence finished before Tilly arrives. <gasps> Maybe Bella could help us pick them all up and get them in the holes. You know, Muck, I think she would love to help out. When she's had a bit of lunch. Once we all have. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
This enclosure and its new fence are perfect. Oh, thank you, Tilly. Fantastic. <laughs> That's elephant for I love my new wooden posts. Oh, really, Mark? So what's elephant for I'm sorry for hiding in your elephant house? <gasps> no, 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 no. That was loud. <laughs> What are we doing today, Bob? Safi's dad, Anish Bose, has written a book about Fixum Castle, so he's having a special event here tonight to celebrate. It's called a book launch. Lots of people are coming, so our first job is to make this wall safe. Roy right too, Bob. Ding, -a -ling -a -ling. Good afternoon, Betsy. Hello, Philip. Have you seen Curtis? Yes, he's just nipped out with Alfred to deal with a breakdown. Oh, that won't do. He's supposed to be giving me a service with wash and brush up. I simply must collect Mayor Madison from the hairdressers in Spring City on time. It's very important. She's making a speech at Anisha's book launch. Oh, I'm taking Anish and Safi there myself. As soon as Curtis has put me through the car wash. Hello, everyone. Ah, Curtis, at last. I've got a very important job today. The mayor and I would be very grateful if you could do me first. What about my job? That's pretty important too, you know. Don't worry. I'll make sure you're both on time and in tip-top shape. Wendy, I'd like you and Leo to fix this wall where it's fallen down. Sure thing, Bob. And I'll use props to make the rest of it safe. So, can we rebuild it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. You look wonderful, Betsy. Thank you, Curtis. I do feel fabulous. Righto, I'd better go. Anish and Safi are so excited about tonight. Well, I don't expect they attend as many important events as the mayor. Philip, there wouldn't even be an event for the mayor to speak at if Anish hadn't written his book. I know that, Betsy, but this is just one of many events the mayor is attending this week. So you're saying she's more important than Anish and Safi? Well, yes, actually, that is correct. I see. Well, that's your opinion. I'll see you later, Philip. Bye, Curtis. Bye, Alfred. Cheerio! Bye, Betsy. OK, Philip, now let's see if your tyres need air. Thank you, Curtis. You know, I think you might have upset Betsy with all that talk about how important the mayor is. Really? But I was merely stating facts. Good work, everyone. Can you and Leo put up the stage when you finish there, please, Wendy? We're on it, Bob. I'll fill you up with fuel, Philip. Your gauge is in the red, so you're nearly empty. Thank you, Curtis. Oh, and tell the mayor there are some notes on your back seat. Notes? Oh, no. They're for her speech tonight. I must get them to her as soon as possible. Philip, wait! I haven't done his fuel yet. <laughs> So, uh, what happens at a book launch? Well, the mayor will make a speech and Anish will talk about his new book. Then people can buy a copy and he'll sign it for them to take home. Oh, OK. And there'll be fireworks as well. <laughs> hey, now you're talking. How does my hair look, Mr Bentley? Uh, very lovely and... Uh, Different, uh, Madam Mayor. Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Are you nervous about tonight, Dad? No, Safi. Everyone will be looking at Mayor Madison, not me. I'll be looking at you, Dad. <laughs> oh, it's you. 
Could I ask you to go a little faster, please, Betsy? I never go over the speed limit. But you're below it. I simply must get the mayor to the castle in time for I the... know, Philip, but my passengers are important too. No! <sighs> what are you doing, Philip? I wish to get past, but I'm unable, as you take up rather a lot of road. Oh? Then let me get out of your way! <laughs> Huh? Oh, no. Ha! There you are, you see? He can't keep up! What's happening to me? <coughs> <coughs> oh. oh, dear, this is unfortunate. Why have we stopped, Philip? I'm afraid... Oh, this really is most embarrassing. I appear to have run out of fuel, Mum. But you've just had a service. I left before Curtis had finished in order to make sure the mayor had the notes to write her speech. But there won't be a speech if I can't get to the castle, Philip. Yes, Mum. I'm most terribly sorry. Ah, oh, Dad, it looks wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks, Safi. And thank you, Bob. Just the fireworks to set and the sound system to wire up, Anish. We'll check that it's all working as soon as Mayor Madison arrives. Hmm. I wonder where she is. Hello, Curtis. Mr Bentley here. We have a problem. Philip has run out of fuel. Could you bring some more straight away, please? Of course, Mr. Bentley, but if his tanks run dry, his engine could be damaged. I'll need to tow him back to the garage to check him over. Tow him? Oh, the embarrassment. Oh, yes, that is a problem, Mr. Bentley. Philip's broken down so the mayor can't get here. <gasps> Don't worry, Anish. Betsy, could you possibly go and collect them, please? Oh, of course, Bob. I'm always happy to help. Betsy, it's very good of you to come for the Mayor and Mr Bentley. Don't worry, Philip. I know how important they are. Only as important as Safi and Anish. Never mind that now, Philip. I just want to get to the castle before I miss the book launch altogether. Oh, don't worry, Mum. Bob's still setting up. You'll be on time. Bye. Bye, like. Oh. Thank you, Curtis. Oh, dear. I was rather looking forward to hearing the mayor's speech. You mean this speech that she's left behind? Oh, no, not again. And there's no way to get it to her in time. Ah, I know. Could you ring Wendy and put your phone on speaker so that I can talk to her? I've lost my speech. Don't worry, I know. Just put in this earpiece that I've connected to my mobile phone and you'll be able to hear Philip through it. Philip? Just repeat what he says as naturally as you can. But what do you mean? I, I don't understand. Trust me, Mayor. You'll be fine. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, I am honoured to be here at the launch of Anish Bose's new book. Anish is a dear friend. An enthusiastic archaeologist and a wonderful writer. We're so fortunate that he has chosen to share his passion for Thixum Castle and its history with us in this excellent book. I know it will be the success that Anish and the town of 
fix them both deserve. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I thought that went rather well. I believe I thought of everything. Yes, except to fill up with fuel. What do you think, Mr Bentley? I think it's a great spotted woodpecker. A what? Here, look. Mr Bentley, we're not here to spot spotted woodpeckers. No, no, of course not, Mayor Madison. <sighs> Here's Wendy and the team now. Hi, Bob. Mayor Madison, Mr Bentley. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Let's start unloading. Look, Scoop, can you start digging the trenches either side of the house, please? Right over. Bob. Sure, Bob. This cliff is crumbling away, but we can't let an important old house like this one fall into the sea. It's the oldest house in the area. Been here for hundreds of years. It needs to be saved. And that's why we're going to lift it up and carry it safely across town to its new site. Oh, the first historic building in the Maria Madison Heritage Park. What do you think, Mr Bentley? It could be a yellow-breasted bunting. Mr Bentley, will you stop looking at birds and concentrate? Sorry, Mayor Madison. I well, know people move house. But I didn't think you could actually move a whole house. Sure, Mark. I've moved dozens of houses, from Tahiti to Timbuktu. Honestly, Mr Bentley. Now, please keep an eye on things, will you? Of course, Mayor Madison. So, team, can <laughs> we move it? Yes, we can! Ready to roll, Bob. Right, Wendy. Just follow the route we planned and you should be fine. I've already checked the roads are wide enough and I've made sure that there are no obstacles along the way. I'll go ahead with Muck and Scoop to get the new site ready for the house. We'll see you later. Thanks, Bob. OK. Two-ton, lofty, let's move. This is so exciting! I don't know what all the fuss is about. I've moved far bigger houses than this. This is nothing. I do hope you're right. I just want this job to go nice and smoothly. Relax, Mr Bentley. Bob has checked and rechecked the route. We'll be fine. <laughs> OK, Tuton, we go left at this junction. Mr Bentley and I will see you round. Thanks. Left it is, Wendy. <gasps> stop! 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 Mr Bentley, what is it? That is a fulvous whistling duck. It's very, very rare. Fascinating. Now, can we get moving? Oh, there's a nest <gasps> and eggs. This is amazing! That's very nice, Mr Bentley, but we really need to keep going. Oh, but we can't go this way. The nest is right by the edge of the road. That's all right. I'll move it. No, no, no! What, what, what? These eggs are very precious. They can't be moved without proper care and attention. But if we can't move the nest, then we can't move the house. 
wonder if we could go the other way instead. But Bob said we should go this way. No, no, no. Wendy's right. That way we'll be fine. Sometimes you just have to think on your wheels. Maybe we should just... I know what I'm doing, Wendy. Trust me. OK, then, Two-Ton. Let's do it. Well, if you're happy to proceed without me, I think I should stay here to guard the nest from other traffic. Good luck. Thanks, Mr Bentley. See you later. This is all looking good. Muck, could you move that soil out of the way until we refill the trenches, please? Oh, I'm on it, Bob. Excellent. Come on, Scoop. Let's go and meet the convoy. sure we can get through here, Two-Ton. Don't worry, Wendy. I can manage. Well, well, well. What's going on here, then? Wow! Look! A house on wheels! Amazing! Oh. What's happening, Philip? There appears to be a house on the move, Mum. Well, yes, I know. But what's he doing here? Steady. Oh. Hello, ma'am. Mr Bentley, why is my historic house holding up the traffic in Spring City? Yes, it really is most exciting. A nest of ducklings. Ducklings? What have ducklings got to do with it? Steady. Careful now. Easy does it. We're not going to make it. Trust me, Lofty. We are going to make it. Oh. <gasps> there. Plane sailing from now on. That's funny. We should have met them by now. Look, there's Mr. Bentley. What's he doing? Uh, Mr. Bentley? The eggs, they hatched. The ducklings think I'm their mother. Right. Uh, where's Tutan? Where's the old house? They couldn't come this way because we couldn't disturb this nest. They're fulvous whistling ducks, you know. OK. So where did Wendy and the house go, then? Oh, they went that way. Into the city centre? They'll never get through that way. Come on, Scoop. We have to stop them before it's too late. Stop! Stop! Oh, I don't think the house will go under there. Of course it will. Loads of room. I'll show you. I'm not so sure either. Watch. I have an uncanny ability to judge heights accurately. See? What did I tell you? Almost through. It's fine. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, stop! Tito, stop! Oh, dear. No, that shouldn't have happened. I appear to be stuck. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Bob! Oh, am I glad you're here. I'm sorry, but we couldn't go the other way. Because of the nest, yes, I know. It's not Wendy's fault. I was sure we could get through this way. Now what are we going to do? I feel terrible. In all my years of moving buildings, this has never happened to me. If I was just a tiny bit lower, I'd have got through. Well, if we let some air out of your tyres, you will be a bit lower, won't you? Let's give it a try. Oh. Yay! <laughs> I always knew he'd get through. Thanks, Bob. Pump up my tires and full speed ahead.
Excellent. Uh, good work, Bob. Uh, well done, Wendy. This beautiful old house will be safe here. Uh, uh, Tessu! Oh, dear. Uh, it appears that I am um, allergic. <gasps> Tessu! To docks! <laughs> Tessu! Vet Tilly gave me permission to move this nest and all the ducklings away from the roadside. There's a nice little pond waiting for them at the zoo. Well, this is a very special occasion, and I feel, as bear, I should, you know, just say a few words. Ahem. <clears throat> Ladies, gentlemen, and machines. <laughs> what a marvellous speech. One of the very best. <laughs> Ten pallets in a minute! That's really fast! Well done, Lofty! How did your new claw feel? I love it! It was worth waiting for. Now, I want to build something ten times bigger! That's good, because today I need you to do just that. Really? What is it? The new Spring City Pyramid! Spring City what he meant? Pyramid! Pyramids were huge stone buildings. They were built thousands of years ago. Whoa! Our pyramid is going to house a new exhibition for the museum. That will be awesome! Let's get started! Am I going to be building the pyramid on my own, Bob? No, Lofty. Tiny's helping build it too. I love working with Tiny. He's great! It's already half built. I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was going to build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight and Tiny can't finish it on his own. Hey, Lofty. You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? Ew. Ready to go, Tiny. Nice claw. Yes. It's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All oh, right. Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artefacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Manish. OK, team, this is a big job. Can we? It. Yes, we can. <laughs> All together, meet again. We're working as a team. Busy doing lots of jobs. A happy family. Everybody shout, high five. Everybody clap. The best of friends helping hands. We're working hard together. We are a team, team. Lofty, be a pal and unload these stones. I need to rush back and collect another batch. But I'm building, Tutan. Go on, give him a hand, Lofty. We're still on schedule. OK, Tiny. Will do. Oh, this vase is thousands of years old. And look at this statue. I can't believe I'm holding such a priceless artefact. Hi, I'm Antony. What's your name? Hi, I'm Cleopatra. Leo! Those are priceless objects, not action figures! Uh, sorry, Anish. Thanks, Lofty. I'll be back soon. Uh, Lofty? Yes, Tiny? Some of these stones aren't straight. Pyramids are very neat constructions. This isn't quite right. Who? Yes. Um, I'll fix that, Tiny. I know you will. We're getting there. Everything's looking good, Anish. This is very exciting, Bob. There's plenty of space to show off my precious artefacts. Here we 
are. Last look. Right out. Oh, it's almost finished. Surely there must be somewhere I can put this. Ah, uh, just one more gap. Um, what? Aha! Ah, there we go. Now that is a perfect pyramid. That's odd. Someone's covered the entrance. Uh oh. We're trapped. Oh, that's not right. What's wrong, Tiny? There should be two stones left. I need to fill that gap up there with one more regular stone. Then this capstone goes on top. Oh. So, where's the other stone? Are you sure you brought the right amount, Tutan? I never miscount. Counting is my thing. Reminds me of the time I was counting camels in the Sahara Desert. Though camels tend to wander off, stones don't wander off. Bob might know where the stone is. But where is Bob? And where is Wendy? And a niche. <laughs> you know, in ancient times, people were often sealed inside pyramids forever. <sighs> with only mummies for company. Uh, thanks, Anish. Any idea how we get out, though? I'll try Leo. Ah, oh, my phone's not working. The walls must be too thick. They're blocking the signal. Then we'll have to try something else. Well, they're not in there. Of course. They all went inside the pyramid. I'll go get them. Um, hey, uh, um. Ew. I've gone all the way around, but I can't see the entrance anywhere. It has to be there. It can't have vanished. No, but it... Ew. Uh, Leo, I think I knew where the missing stone went. I thought I saw a gap that needed filling, so I filled it. You blocked the entrance? Well, then, we need to unblock it. Yes, but I can't remember where the entrance was. Uh, oh, neither can I. Nor me. OK, what to do? What to do? Um, we'll just have to remove some of the stones until we find it. Did you hear that? There's someone passing by. Lofty! Well, if we can hear him, perhaps he could hear us. <sighs> this is taking forever. Hang on. What's that noise? It must be Bob and Wendy. It's this one, Lofty. Oh. <sighs> That's better. Oh, sweet daylight. Oh, Bob, I'm sorry I blocked you in. I just wanted to keep building and use my new claw. Well, no real harm done, Lofty. Although it is good to be outside again. I was having too much fun working with Tiny. I'm glad you like working with me, Lofty. I enjoy working with you two. You do? Sure. You can move about and do the important smaller jobs while I do the heavy bigger jobs. We work well together. Like a team? Like a great team. So let's work together and get this pyramid finished. Mayor Madison will be here soon, so I need immediate help moving the rest of the artefacts into the chamber. We're with you, Anish. Let's get these stones back in place. We'll have your exhibition on display in no time, Anish. Done. Over to you, 
tiny. Here goes. Looking good. Well done. Thanks, Lofty. You and I really do make a great team. Brilliant. Philip. My pleasure, Mum. Bah! What can I say? It's magnificent! A real landmark for Spring City. I guess you built this, Lofty? Oh, yes. But with Tiny, of course, we're the best crane team in Spring City. Well, Anish, I'm so looking forward to seeing this wonderful exhibition. Let's make sure we give that entrance a door you can open from the inside. So, Philip, your new garage will be going right under here. Ah, oh, wonderful, Bob. You mean it's going to be an underground garage? Correct, Muck. The whole garage will lift up out of the ground and then lower back down like... well, a lift. <laughs> All done with powerful arms called hydraulic cylinders. And all controlled by Philip or this remote control. <sighs> I'm so looking forward to having some peace and quiet in my underground garage, away from all the noise. Bob! Hi, Mayor Madison. You do know I need Philip's garage to be ready tomorrow morning. Philip is bringing Mayor Snipe to see how we're using all the newest gadgets here at Fixum Town Hall. The underground garage is going to be my big surprise. We should have it ready by the end of today. It's going to be awesome! That is exactly the sort of noise I want to get away from. Sorry, Mr Philip. He's a little bit scary. So, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! Madison, I've just spoken to the suppliers. The hydraulic cylinders won't be delivered until this evening. Which means we won't be able to have Philip's garage finished before night time. But what if it rains, or there's a dust storm, or, or a mudslide? We can't have Philip staying out tonight. Yes, I do not enjoy being dirty. No offence, Mark. Who? Hmm? Why don't you stay at our yard? I'm sure one of the vehicles won't mind you having their shed for the night. Terrific idea, Bob. What? Right then, team, let's go! Oh, a builder's yard. Here we are, Philip. You'll get a good night's sleep here. Hello! Bob, I have a delivery for you. Ah, that's two-ton with the hydraulic cylinders. We'll fit them first thing in the morning. Come on, Scoop. Help me bring them in. Hmm. Uh, I'll see if they need some help. Where should I put these cylinders, Bob? Inside the workshop, please, Scoop. And be gentle with them, Scoop. Um, Bob, whose shed is Philip having for the night? I don't mind sleeping outside with all the bats and the ghosties. Thanks, Scoop. Phew, that's good. I don't like sleeping outside. <sighs> away safely, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. Right. We've got an early start tomorrow, so it's time for bed. Good night, everybody. Night. No, no, night. Night. Good night, Bob. <sighs> I can't sleep. Is something wrong, Philip? There's a smell of oil and oh, old cloths. Yeah, that's my collection of old oily rags. I can't possibly sleep in here. You can have my shed if you like. I'm 
careful as you reverse it. It's a little bit. Yes, thank you, Lofty. I'm very good at parking. Right. Hmm. Acceptable. Is everything okay, Philip? Who's using a chainsaw at this time of night? Oh, that's just Rowley snoring. I've got used to it. It's actually quite pleasant. Well, I can't sleep in this shed. I need peace and quiet. Muck, I need your shed. Really? I can't sleep outside. What if there was a dust storm in the night? Oh, OK. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Thank you. <sighs> Suppose I'll have to find somewhere else to sleep. You'll get poor prints all over me. Get off! Is there nowhere I can find some peace and quiet? Oh, who put these here? Oh, I suppose this will have to do. You go. Phew. Nearly comfy. One more inch. <laughs> ah! uh, uh. <laughs> What's that noise, Go? I hope it's not a ghosty. That <laughs> <laughs> muck. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. <laughs> there he is. Mark! Mark! Oh, the ghost again! Carriage. Oh. oh no, what have I done? Oh. Mark! It's okay. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghosty. <sighs> what are you lot doing it? Oh no, the jacks, they're all dented and broken. It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck, I've been a terrible guest and I've been very rude to you. That's OK. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me, it'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. There we go, Philip. All clean and ready to go. Thank you, Bob. Does everyone know what they're doing in Philip's Go Slow plan? Yes! yes. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can.
Well, that seems to be working fine. Thank you, Wendy. Well, I've seen your remote control doors and your remote control lights and your remote control toilet. What's this final surprise, Mayor Madison? It's my new garage for Philip. Hmm. Maybe you should make him remote control too, because it took ages getting here. I heard there was a lot of slow moving traffic on the roads this morning. <laughs> Come on, Mayor Madison, where's this new garage? I pressed something on here, I suppose. Whoa! What's happening? Is it an earthquake? Thank you, Bob. Whoa! Which book makes it go down? Oh, we can stop. Oh, no, oh! Ah! I'm not sure it's supposed to work like that. I think it works perfectly. Whoa! Goodness, how busy you all are. Hello, Mr Bentley. I stacked all the new glass for the skylights on the roof, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. Ready to put in that burglar alarm, Wendy? Yes, Bob. All set. Good. I want to be sure that all the Mayor's important documents are safe while she's away on holiday. That's a simple job, Mr Bentley. We'll get it finished today. Excellent. Well, things to do, pencils to sharpen. I'll see you all later. Right, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Let rainwater in. I'd better seal it up. Ah, Mr. Bentley, just in time to help me. Could you walk along the hall, please? Uh... Oh! Great. That oh. movement sensor up oh. there saw you, so anyone walking around inside the building after it's locked will trigger the alarm. Now, all you have to do is enter your four-number alarm code. When it beeps, you have 30 seconds to close the front door. Hmm. All finished, Mr Bentley. Thank you. The Mayor will be delighted. OK, Mr Bentley. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, good -o. Good night and thank you. Night, Mr. Bentley. Sleep tight. Nighty night. <laughs> Is that the town hall alarm, Wendy? I'm afraid so. I'll call Bob, then come over with you. <sighs> hmm. Hi, Wendy. No. Hi, Wendy. Everything all right? Sorry to bother you, Bob, but the town hall alarm's going off. All right. Don't worry, I'll be there in five minutes. What's going on? That light shows the alarm was set off in the mayor's office. Right. We'd better investigate. Uh, shall I come with you? Oh, please stay with me, Mr Bentley. We do really like the dark. Of course I will, old chap. I can't find anything wrong at all. Me neither. Right. <gasps> Everything seems OK. Oh, you. Ah. I'm sure it won't happen again, Mr Bentley. I'm sure it won't. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming out. Good night. Sleep nice tight. Good night. Uh. 
<laughs> Hello? Bob, Wendy? Going off. Oh, no, not again. Eh, <sighs> is it morning already? No, sorry, Lofty. We need to go to the town hall again. Again? <gasps> Can I come? <laughs> go back to sleep, Dizzy. It's just a little problem with the alarm. Actually, Bob, I'd really like Dizzy to come too. OK, then. Everything's fine here. Well, <gasps> it's very strange, Mr. Bentley. We still can't find any reason for the alarm to be going off. Well, in that case, there's only one explanation. It was a ghost. A ghost? Come on, you two. There are no such things as ghosts. Oh. But Mr. Bentley said that was the only explanation. Oh, I'm sorry, Lofty. That was just a joke. We'll have to leave the alarm off and stay here to see if we can find out what can be triggering it. Uh, I'd be happy to patrol the rear of the town hall, Bob. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Wendy and I will stay inside. And Lofty, mm. you and Dizzy watch the front of the building. OK, team? Oh, yes! yes! Yes, sir, Bob, sir. Oh. Don't worry, Lofty. If we do see any ghosts, I'll keep you safe. Um, OK, then. There's definitely no problem with the wiring on these sensors. We'd better check the rest of the building, then. Look! What was that? Is that a ghost? No, that's just an owl, Lofty. Phew. That's OK, then. Hmm, at least I think it was. What? I'd better check the side of the building. I'll only be a minute. OK. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as... Oh, oh. Hurry up, Dizzy. She'll be back in a minute. That's only 60 seconds. 59, 58, 57. Hmm. Um. 30, 29, 28... Lovely! 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 It's me! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you okay? <laughs> Hiya! Ah! Hmm, all clear here. Better see how Lofty and Dizzy are getting on. That's it. Just breathe <sighs> slowly. In and out. In <sighs> and out. <clears throat> <laughs> It's just you, Mr. Bentley. Oh, are you OK, Lofty? <laughs> well, we've checked the rest of the building, so the answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? huh? Oh, ah! <gasps> we found our ghosts, Wendy. They're bats. <laughs> Dizzy, Lofty, Mr. Bentley, we've solved the mystery. It's bats. Where are they? Um, over here. Uh... Um. <laughs> it's okay, Lofty. Look at the bats. Aren't they glorious? Oh yeah, they are amazing. I wonder how bats got inside the town hall. Bats only come out at night, so they must have been sleeping somewhere inside during the day. They flew out of the fireplace, so maybe they were in the chimney. Yes, good thinking. We'll go up and check in the morning. You were right, Wendy. I found this hole yesterday and sealed it up. If that's how the bats were getting inside the chimney, they wouldn't be able to get out again afterwards. The bats were sleeping in the chimney. I accidentally blocked up their way out. So all you have to do is make another way out for them. It isn't that simple, Lofty. It's OK for bats to sleep there when it's summer, but they'd be hurt if anyone lit a fire when it's cold. Oh, no! You've got to find a way to keep the bats safe, Bob! Don't worry, Dizzy. 
We'll build the bats a new house and put it by the chimney where they used to sleep. I'm sure the bats will feel at home in their splendid new bat house. Now I need to work out how to tell the mayor about her new neighbours. <laughs> Good luck with that, Mr Bentley. Oh, dear. I knew all along that the town hall wasn't really haunted. Of course you did, Lofty. Bing! <laughs> That's a big hole. How did that happen, Bub? It was the huge storm we had last night, Muck. Big waves crashed against the wall and damaged it. Good morning, Bob. I do hope you can fix this today. Hello, Mr Bentley. Yes, I'm sure we can. Thank goodness. We can't have our sea wall turning to rubble. Tomorrow's the start of the spring holidays. People will be coming here to have fun. Who'd want to spend time on a beach covered with rubbish? Oh? Oh, dear me, you're right, Lofty. That's not good. And there's flotsam and jetsam everywhere. Flotsam what, Mr Bentley? A flotsam and jetsam. It's what we call things that float in the sea and eventually get washed up onto beaches like this lot. So it's all rubbish? Well, mostly. But as a boy, I used to go beachcombing. Oh, the hours I spent searching the sand for anything special or interesting. <laughs> oh. Yuck. However, right now, I need the beach to look perfect for our visitors. Well, I can work on the wall while Lofty Muck and Scoop clear the beach. Easy peasy! No problem, Bob. Thanks, Bob. I'll leave it to you. See you later. Bye. Woohoo! Look, he's Curtis. Where's he going? I think he's off to do a spot of fishing muck. Now then, let's get to work. Well, yes, I know. Who knows what treasures there might be among the flotsam and jetsam? Oh, really? If we're lucky, we might find something really, really special. <gasps> like that piece of driftwood. Oh! That's not special. It's no good for anything. Except the bin. It's good for looking at, Scoop. It's like a work of art. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Just looks like a piece of old wood to me. Well, to me it's beautiful, and I'm going to look for more pieces of driftwood. Suit yourself. I'm going to do some clearing. OK, guys, time to get this beach ready for some spring fun. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! <gasps> no, Scoop. That's much too interesting to throw away. What? Look at that lovely curly shape. It's almost like the tail of a mermaid. Uh, no, can't say it, Lofty. It's just useless driftwood. You can't do anything useful with it. I bet I can do something with it, but I'm not sure what just yet. Why don't you put all the driftwood in one neat pile near the ramp, Lofty, and then you can decide what to do with it later. OK, Bob. Then would you come and help me put this stone back in the wall? Will do, Bob. Good work, Lofty. Thanks. Do you think I've got all the fixum and gypsum, Scoop? Flopsum and gypsum! Fixum and gypsum. Flotsam and gypsum. Yeah, there. 
Have I got it all? Um... Oh, oh, hang on, I can see one more piece. Sorry, girl. What's that, Scoop? Huh? Driftwood. You could make something interesting out of that. A garden decoration, or a fence post, or a... Uh, it's just more rubbish, Curtis. Huh? Hey, Mark. Thanks, Scoop. I've got it all, Bob. That's great, Muck. Would you take it to the recycling centre, please? On me way! Wow! Look at that driftwood. It's so lovely. I have to save it. I just need to grab it. Muck! Muck! Oops, not that. No. Oh, almost. Oh, missed. Got it. Just hang on a second, Merc. Hey, what's going on? Thanks, Merc. I just had to save this piece. Sorry I made a mess. But I'll go and pick it all up now. Uh... How are you going to do that, Lofty? Look. <gasps> Who knew? What a disaster! It's all drifting back out to sea. Excellent, Bob. As good as new. And the beach looks pristine. Perfect for tomorrow's holiday makers. <sighs> Lofty, is something wrong? It's my fault, Bob. I had to rescue this driftwood. But... Yes? I sort of pulled out some of the flotsam and jetsam and it sort of fell into the river and now it's sort of... Uh... Heading this way! Oh, no! Well, at least it's not on the beach. But the tide is coming in, which means it soon will be. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. If we have a messy beach, the visitors won't stay. And all my plans for carnivals, regattas and fix some fun, fun, fun will be for nothing. This will be a disaster. I've got a bite. Huh? I've got a bite. Uh... Oh. See, the disaster is happening already. Oh, I wish we could collect it all before it reaches the beach. If only, yes. That's it, Lofty. That's exactly what we'll do. Huh? huh? There's more than enough. Uh, did I suggest something clever? You did, Lofty. We can make floating booms out of your wood and use them all to catch the debris. Ooh, that does sound clever. Oh, no. Ugh. Curtis! Would you give us a hand to collect all that rubbish? Yes, of course, Bob. Anything if it means I can catch fish instead of rotting boots. Excellent. Just one more thing. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. There's a bit of an emergency down at the beach. Please, could you bring us a long rope? OK, no problem. I'm on my way. OK, Lofty, you and Curtis are going to sweep along the shore and collect all the rubbish with the booms. Got it, Bob. OK, Curtis, let's go! Whoa, what? Take it easy, Lofty! Yes, you need to coordinate with Curtis and work together. Righto, coordinate. Righto, Curtis, I'll stay here. You bring the boom round towards the beach. <laughs> Oh, guess that 
driftwood was good for something after all. Ooh, what's going on? Good timing, Muck. We've got one last load of Flotsam and Jetsam for you. Oh, thank you, Bob. You've saved Fixum Beach from disaster. Now our visitors will have a wonderful clean time when they arrive. Oh, but aren't you getting rid of that too? No, we can't. That wood is really special. Hey, just look at all those beautiful shapes. They do look interesting. That's good beach combing, Lofty. So, what are you going to do with them, Lofty? I think they should be on display. Hey, oh, what about using them to decorate the path from the car park to the beach? What a splendid idea. Oh, goodo. Let's do it. There. All done. Happy, Lofty? It looks really beautiful, Bob. What do you think, Scoop? I think that one looks like a unicorn. That one just looks like a big stick. That one looks like Mr. 